There is a story of a man who was walking along the beach, enjoying the quiet and the waves. In the distance, the man saw someone else, a person bending and dancing and bending and moving around in the strangest of patterns. And he wondered what was going on. So he approached the young man, and the young man showed that what he was doing was bending down, picking up a starfish, and tossing it back into the ocean. When the old man said, why, there are too many, he said, it makes a difference to everyone that I say. I like to think the story continues, not with one person acting to save the starfish or those in need, but two. This is one for the record. I'm Diane, and today is April 9th, 2015. Here are your news updates for today. Alrighty then. Very, very late at night, and it's still warm out here, over here in Central Florida. Alrighty, let's see what we have going on today. The Extinction Protocol 2012 and Beyond. Actually, this is marked April 10th. They're a little bit ahead of us. So you're getting the news first. 70 missing after landslide in Myanmar. Ooh. After a landslide in Myanmar. Myanmar, Yangon. April 9th, some 70 people were reported missing following a landslide in a jade mining area of Pakant in Myanmar's North Kachin State, media said on Thursday. Wow. Our prayers go out to them. Also, and this is also marked April 10th, Baja, California, Mexico. Double earthquakes on San Andreas Fault. Rocks, California, Mexico border. Heads up. Okay, let's see when this was. The U.S. Geological Survey says two magnitude 4.0 plus earthquakes have struck the San Andreas Fault on the California-Mexico border. The first one in magnitude 4.0 Two struck at 12:30 p.m. Pacific PDT Pacific Time, seven miles southwest of Delta BC, Mexico, at a depth of 16.1 miles. The second quake, measuring in at a magnitude of 4.5, struck the same area about three minutes later. So it actually got bigger. So the first one was a pre-shock. And the next one might be a pre-shock. And, and the second one was only at a depth of 0.44 miles. So it's it's pretty close to the surface. 0.44 miles. So so heads up. Heads up, California, Los Angeles. Uh, that means the fault's moving, and it might move move up towards uh, San Diego County, then Los Angeles County. Everyone have a plan. Be safe. Make sure you have plenty of food and water for yourself and your pets, and an escape route if you have to. Moving on. The Watchers Watching the World. Today, sun experienced seasonal changes, new research finds. 
Yesterday, Ubina's volcano enters new eruptive phase, Peru. On the 7th, tropical cyclone Jolane rapidly intensifies in southern Indian Ocean. Heads up. Moving on. Let's go into the E&E &E News, Energy News. Nothing new on the Fukushima area. Let's go into U.S. Canada. Today, April 9th. Government experts, astounding levels of radiation measured in the U.S. from Fukushima. Around 500,000 times our normal levels. We never, we never have ever seen anything even close to that. Concentrations went up and up and up every day. Amazing to see this 7,000 kilometers away. A matter of life and death. Also, well wait, let's go back to that. Uh, why wasn't it reported on uh, CBS, NBC? Let me give a free consultation. They're telling you now. I guess the people in the newsrooms, they think that, that the radiation won't affect them and their families. The journalists, uh, I guess it was a gag order maybe. Who knows? We've been warning about this. Now they're going to tell you about it. Are you still going to stay there? Are you going to still stay there and pretend like nothing's happening because you can't see it or smell it and taste it? But it's going to affect you now. Once we hit five years, that's it. That's, 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 that, that's going to be it. That's the threshold of not seeing anything is five years. They know that. the effects it's just incredible no one no one was warned no 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 uh, iodine pills passed out I wonder why that is I guess dancing with the stars was more important but guess what dancing with the stars they too you too are also on the west coast Don't think it's going to affect you either. Look what they did. Look what they did. You're just going to hear about it now. It, it hasn't stopped, you know. It just keeps going up and up and up and up. It doesn't. It doesn't subside. It doesn't dilute. It just keeps accumulating. It's just like we had a World War Three already. You just didn't see see the missiles go off. You see, you got the effects of that anyway disgusting I don't know I don't know what it's gonna take if you're gonna leave now and, and oh you don't live forever no one lives forever but you're not even gonna get past the four to even get to the ever alrighty wake up oh can't do nothing yeah get out of there get out of there and the scientists should be figuring out how to stop this if they can make liquid metal, they need to they need to take take charge of Fukushima. The, the scientists, you, you're gonna have to fix this. You're not immune either. Alrighty then, let's move on. That was your free consultation. All right, let's move on. April 7th, National Geographic, newly discovered mass mortality in sea creatures along California coast. Body parts falling off, animals wasting away. Researchers fear sea star epidemic has spread. You see, let me give a little thing on that, sea star. First of all, what foreign person came up with right, deciding everything is called sea star? Is it because if you say sea star and not starfish, maybe the people won't 
the people won't uh, get us upset what's a sea star who decided to change the name of the starfish in America they were called starfish if it's on the west coast it's a starfish alrighty then those my my fellow listeners are starfish like growing up and going to the uh, aquarium going to marine land sea world things like that they were called starfish because they changed the name just just to confuse you maybe and you go what's a, what's a sea star no these are starfish they were called starfish since I can remember those are called starfish I don't know it's some kind of foreign foreign person decided let's just say the say it backwards and say it some different way so maybe the public the, the public won't understand because there's so much uh, fluoride in the water that you hear sea star you go oh what's a sea star they're called starfish all the starfish that you grew up looking at and thinking that are cool they're melting from the radiation alrighty oh oh it's a virus it's a virus melting now and next are the sea urchins they're gonna melt too the radiation is so hot it's just it's it's, it's just vapor it's, it's melting them just like in the Wizard of Oz watch out I'm melting melting it's from the radiation and I'm gonna say something about it it's called they're called starfish and the little starfish are being destroyed alrighty then along with all the other animals and if you want to pretend you don't know why then you're incompetent that's to my my peers my my my, my peers <coughs> the peers that are idiots or they're covering it up get off your ass and start doing something about it that's to my peers I keep trying to warn the people you don't warn you don't warn the people you pretend you don't know what's going on you got the regular news outlets are starting to have to report on it but we don't want to panic all right you just rather let every everything in the ocean die and you just rather just keep everything calm but you're not fixing it you've had almost now we're gonna go into five years we're past the four-year mark we're going into the five-year mark and all of you will go down as criminals don't tell me you don't have any radiation detectors don't tell me you're not checking them for radiation are you checking them what are the radiation levels on the melting sea uh, sea stars well starfish what are the levels I want to see levels oh it's only so and so becquerels oh it's not above uh, background it's all a bunch of crap we want the hard numbers on these animals we want to know how much radiation they have come in contact with that's what I want to know that's what the public wants to know you know it's like walking a, let, let me put it this way word of mouth is faster than the internet word of mouth is faster than your television outlets I'm going to tell you something Every, here, here's a good one ever go into a restroom and you see the same dirty jokes no matter what part of town you're in it's the same same here I sit broken hearted and everyone has read the same one they have read the same one over the years isn't that amazing you've heard the same music in this town go from the west coast to the east coast everyone knows the lyrics to certain songs alrighty then we can hear my aquarium in the background I guess and the phone buzzer alrighty then I'm sorry 
but I just had to give my free consultation. Either you come clean with all the information now and come up with a solution, a plan, or some kind of plan, some kind of fix, something. Maybe you need to evacuate everyone. Maybe maybe they want the land anyway for the resources. Maybe, maybe we need to give it to them. Isn't, isn't that amazing? We owe China all this money. And it's like, you know what it's like? It's like a bad relationship. You get into a relationship and some people say, if I can't have you, no one can have you. I want you to think about that. If I can't have you, no one can have you. There's people who say that. I wonder if that's what they're doing to the United States. Oh, if we can't have the United States, no one can. We're just going to let it fill up with radiation poisoning. Right? Well, you better come up with a cure soon. Because you and your families are going to be affected by this. Everyone detox. That's a bit, and try to get out of the way of whatever this is coming in. And come up with solutions from out of the box. Obviously, the scientists can't figure your your mainstream scientists can't figure it out. It's time for 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 the little people, the ones that that are the actual geniuses that are hiding in the basement, hiding on the computer. Come up with solutions. Alrighty then. It is the eve of Friday. It's four days down. One to go before the weekend. Please be safe. Detox. Do your homework on Fukushima. And if possible, try to get out of the way of it. Alright, take care. The starfish here is kind of starting to get washed up on the beach here. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's see if he. It's got a little mouth there, but. I'm going to put him out a little bit further here, so he's safe for the, for the next low tide. There he goes. There. Home sweet home. Good life there, starfish.